Welcome or welcome back, beautiful souls, to the channel. I'm Shikir Your Conscious Mentor, Medicine Woman, and Reiki Master. And today I am going to be going over the top things you need to know about this Pisces new moon that is happening happening, can't even speak, happening February 20th, 2023, and how it's gonna affect you three days before the day of and three days after. So if you would like to know the top ways that this moon is going to affect you keep watching this video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like subscribe put notification bells so you don't miss a video as i do these energy updates every single month and i also share things on shadow work plant medicine and much more around conscious living and channel messages so if that is your jam come join our family and subscribe maybe share this with a friend um last thing i want to share with you guys is a couple things one my limited time i never do card readings i'm off Offering card readings only for the month of February and I'm offering 15 minutes 30 minutes private ceremonial card readings so if you've been wanting more clarity maybe around this moon time or this month you can book down below in the link and I'm really excited to get to meet you guys it's been cool to meet some of you guys through these readings and really get to connect I also want to share that I have a lunar planner for 2023 where I go over shadow work prompts rituals for every single moon as well as in between mantras it's digital so you can get it like right now and it's only $22 so you can get that down below and it's going to really support you alongside with these videos which is fantastic so those who've already got that I hope you've enjoyed it let me know down below if you're getting a planner with a moon emoji and saying that you're making this year the best year ever um, and lastly I have retreats and other things all down below you can check out all my offerings my retreats are filling up I've currently updated you guys also on my community about the retreats so go check that out okay now that we're done the intro and chatting about that let's let's hang out let's talk about this pisces new moon that's happening on february 20th 2023 so what i will invite you guys to do is if you have a chance i want to bring you into the ceremony like i usually do with my healings and such and i just want to bring you to either close down your eyes and we're just going to take some breaths together if you can't close your eyes that's fine just bring yourself into awareness and we're just going to take a deep breath in together exhaling out Taking a deep breath in. Exhaling out. Taking another deep breath in. Exhaling out. Another deep breath in. Exhaling out. We're just going to give gratitude for the lands that hold us here. I'm giving gratitude to the lands that I am on right now that is allowing me to channel this message for you for this Pisces new moon on February 20th, 2023. Feeling the energy of the lands that you are resting on, your feet are laying on, and giving gratitude to these lands for receiving you fully and holding you, and calling in any benevolent guides, ancestors, and guardians to bring whatever messages are meant for you here. Let's take one deep breath together. Exhaling out. Then opening your eyes when you're ready. We're back. Okay, so let me know down below. Do you have Pisces in your chart? Are you moon, sun, rising? Let me know. I'd love to hear and get to know you guys more. Let's get into what you need to know. So this Pisces new moon that is happening on February 20th, 2023, and how it will affect you three days before the day of and three days after is inner child healing is being called. I want to just point out that Pisces is a very creative, intuitive, and psychic sign. So these things are going to be heightened around this time. And I always share with people that our inner child essentially is the magic, is the gold of what our shadow work and our soul contracts are here. A lot of people don't know, and I was actually talking to one of you guys who just booked a reading with me, and you guys were just saying about your experience with your heart chakra, and I said, do you know that the heart chakra actually develops between the ages of four and seven? And they were like, no, I did not know that. And I said, yeah, that is when the heart chakra is developed. So up until the age of 12 and 13 years old, your chakras are slowly developing, starting with the root. So our inner child is starting to create our sense of security and safety, so the root, our sense of creativity, sensuality, sexuality, which is the sacral, our sense of who we are and what we do and how we are judged or 
either penalized for it, solar plexus. Our sense of love, what is love? How did mom and dad show love? All those things, and what is a relationship supposed to look like? That's the heart chakra, and so on and so forth. So with the Pisces new moon, as new moons is all about fertility, it's about the time of setting new intentions as opposed to the full moon, which is a little bit different and different energy there. It's more of letting go, ending a cycle. This new moon is calling us to connect with our inner child and bring more play. Because when we can bring more play, we can then shift our energy and allow ourselves to have a different perspective in life and take things a little bit easier in life. A lot of the times we take things a little hard on ourselves, right? Let me know if you resonate with that with a rainbow emoji. If you've been hard on yourself lately and maybe it's because you're not getting the clarity that you want or you're looking for a certain clarity. Let's see if there's any cards that fall out. And these cards are just perfect for us here, guys. So let's get into a little bit more of what I'm talking about with inner child. So your inner child message that we have here is the first one I'm going to say is to go the distance. So I love this. This has been this has been following us for a while. This card, this energy has been following us for a while. And go the distance is essentially where are you preventing yourself from going further? And I'm going to go into this a little bit more with one of the points that I have about this Pisces new moon. But this Pisces new moon is saying, go further with that inner child that inner child never had resistance and if your inner child did have resistance in your environment which i'm going to go into because pisces does affect your environment you're being called to ask yourself if you were to replay things as an inner child and you had a space where you felt safe that you didn't have to feel like you had to judge yourself second guess yourself what would that inner child connect to how would they be so this is what the Pisces new moon is bringing us. It's bringing us this magic. It's saying, how can you go a little bit deeper to build the relationship with your inner child and allow yourself to receive clarity, healing, and also manifestations, which is why this new moon is such a very powerful time for manifestations. And I'll go into that a little bit more. We also have the higher power. So here it's just saying that you are really, again, Pisces, new moon, Pisces signs are very psychic. Let me know down below, guys. I already know you guys are very psychic. And if you have any Pisces placements, you're going to be even more intuitive around this time because of the energy of Pisces. The second thing you need to know about this Pisces new moon that is happening on February 20th, 2023, three days before the day of and three days after, remember guys, it's a full week of moon energy, is sensitivity of emotions. What emotions have your soul had to repress? What emotions did they not get to express? And why was that? So around this time, we're extra sensitive. So for example, and I'm just going to put myself as an example here, I wasn't allowed to show anger. I had to bite my tongue and shut my mouth because it's just to be completely honest, I'm laughing at it, but it's actually like, I literally had to shut my mouth. Like I did not have a space to express anger because I saw the anger that certain family people in my household had. And I was like, I'm scared of this anger. They're projecting their pain on me. So I made the belief that one, I don't want to be that. But two, if I were to ever act that same way, I would be penalized. I would be punished. So my anger most of my life, I never really got to express it. And then also when people were angry, I would feel uncomfortable. I would feel triggered because that energy of anger would be kind of bubbling and creating heat within my body. And I would get like secondhand embarrassment for the person. I don't know if this ever happened to you, but this is definitely a sign that maybe there is a trigger of emotions that you are sensing that is actually teaching you what energy have you not allowed yourself to embody? And this is why I always talk about responsibility of healing. And with the Pisces new moon, it's teaching us how can we have a new relationship for those untethered, unexpressed emotions that our inner child had to suppress? And how can we look at that as powerful? How can we see that vulnerability as powerful and rewrite our perspective of those emotions to actually support us so we can be clean, and I mean clean energy, clean energy for us to manifest, right? A lot of the times with this Pisces new moon, it's about, it's one of the most powerful days right now in this season, in this next few months to manifest as it is for Valentine's Day, which I, I'm going to talk about on, on TikTok. So you guys can check that out. What I talked about, I might even post it here by this time. But um, 
you know, this is the most powerful day. So the 20th and also the 14th, which is Valentine's Day, which I'm not really big about Valentine's Day. I don't know about you guys. Let me know down below. I'm not like a huge Valentine's Day. Every day is love day. Like every single day is love day, but to each his own. Um, so yeah, this is really Pisces new moon is really calling us to really sit with that. So I want you to write down this shadow work prompt. What emotion has my soul been suppressing. I also want to highlight guys who have the lunar planner for 2023. There's a whole bunch of shadow prompts in there and reminders beyond what I'm sharing here. And it's really going to hit home. So make sure that you're starting this when you see this video and start just, you know, feeling it in because we just finished the Leo full moon that happened a bit ago. So now it's like we're stepping into that space of creating newness after going through a huge energetic purge, which we all went through an energetic purge for like a week. So through our hearts. The other thing that you need to know about this Pisces new moon that's happening on February 20th, 2023, three days before the day of three days after is that your insecurities of emotions is the block of you dreaming bigger. Think about a child. A child never really second guesses themselves. You ever been around a child where they just say what they want? They just blurt it out. Now, what happened to you as a child when you would blurt it out? Did, was there an adult or someone that would be like, no, we don't say that or start to judge you. That is what suppressed your expression of dreaming, your expression of curiosity, your expression of imagination. And this is why it's so important if there's any moms or parents out there for you to really nurture your child around this time to dream, to bring their imagination, not to shut it down because that is so, so key. They see by the time a kid is around seven or eight years old, this is when they start to second guess their thoughts, second guess their imagination. So if it's not nurtured until then, and there's a parent that's telling them, oh, don't believe in that. Oh, that's not true. Oh, that's evil. Blah, blah, blah. That is actually conditioning the child to dream bigger on a, more of a human plane and 3D plane. So your insecurities of emotions, think about anger, right? If we weren't able to feel that anger and we suppressed it, then we are now people pleasing other people because we're scared of the confrontation of our anger being seen. So we just allow ourselves to just suppress it or ignore it or bypass it. So when you bypass that emotion, you are also bypassing your ability to move that energy and to redirect that energy to open space within your being and to create bigger, right? Because now your energy on a subconscious level is feeding into this anger that your inner child was not able to express for 50, 30, 20, whatever years that you've been on this earth life or even lifetimes, depending on if it's from a past life where your inner child was feeling those emotional, you know, Say unsafe in a certain emotion since you could remember then maybe it's a past life that we're calling in to clear during this new moon in Pisces right so this is an opportunity for you to ask yourself where in your life are you playing small write that down where in your life are you playing small and this is where the happiness card comes in where in your life are you telling yourself you're too happy that's too much money that's too much this there's too much that what and who said that who in your household told you there's too much let me know down below we're going to be vulnerable here where did you feel that where did that come from okay guys this is where we get to the gritty this is where we get into the depth of it when we can unblock that energy we are giving ourselves permission to see unconditionally <laughs> how are you playing small who told us to play small and it could have been yourself it could have been yourself and you have to step into that shadow and fully hold it to create a new relationship because it's a new moon, a new relationship, a new habit, a new behavior of when you do catch your inner, inner child thinking that way subconsciously, you guys have a conversation. You have a conversation, say, hey, actually you can create space. You can dream bigger and that is okay. And whoever told you otherwise, they actually didn't, didn't allow you to do that because you were triggering them. Your inner child was talking about all the great things it was doing and maybe mom had to sacrifice and that was their choice. Sacrifice their dreams to make your life the way it is. Maybe dad had to choose a family because mom put that intention into father, right? There's the traditional archetypes as well in our family. So we have to think about usually the suppressed emotion, the suppressed dreams that we want to manifest as souls coming into this human plane 
in this lifetime is on the basis of also our ancestors sacrificing or our ancestors triggers and we are now trying to rescue them from that pain by sacrificing our own dreams you are sacrificing your own happiness and your own peace so this is saying like listen to the highest good the highest conscious your higher self allow them to connect with you your higher self and your inner child have a little let's have a little conference let's have a little meeting a little cacao circle this is what's happening on this pisces new moon three days before the day of and three days after and they will connect with you differently it might be through a memory that you have in a dream or a meditation it might be through something a song that you hear and you're like oh my gosh that song that's my song i remember that song when i was in the car and my mom used to play it and i would be bopping to that song right there's different ways that our human mind Mind can subconsciously bring us to these emotions so open them be welcomed with those emotions okay the next part is spirit is asking you how can you play bigger okay so pisces new moon what you need to know is like this is a time to play big february 20th is going to be one of the best portals for you between the 14th of february all the way until february 23rd great week to manifest loves great week to manifest okay so you need to get straight with what you're manifesting and once you've done one figured out how you're playing small and then you step into okay what do i want to manifest how what would it look like what does my inner child want to manifest because your inner child's soul dropped into this body knowing exactly what it wanted right it didn't question anything it only started to question anything when someone gave it a reason to doubt. And this is when the round and round card comes in, which basically means like this is something you've been here before. Like you, you've been here before. For some of you, you might have not been able to receive or create this bigger space or dream big because of a past life. Maybe you were suppressed in a past life. If this is resonating, listen to me here in the space and see where you're feeling it in your body. But um, maybe you were suppressed. Maybe you were in a space where you weren't in power where you felt like you had no power. And this could have been on so many layers and basises. Where did that come from? So you might even have experiences. And I've, I've actually listened to a, a podcast the other day about this. And I was like, this is a good reminder. A lot of people don't know, but past lives aren't only your lives. Past lives can be your mother's past lives. They could be your aunt's past lives. They come from the same lineage, right? But it's all connected. And this is why I say how did not only you play small but how did your family members before you play small and those who are living with you alongside with you because it's all interconnected right so you played small because you learned it from a long lineage and we're going to go back to that and this is why guys subscribe put notification bells because i'm going to be posting a distance energy healing meditation to support you on this and again if you haven't got the lunar planner get it because it will literally help you have a tool for this year to really make it a big year to dream big so you have a place that you can go back to next year and be like wow so much has changed there's even pages for you to journal like all of that's digital go down below and get it um, and I made it accessible. It's only $22. That's literally like a meal in Uber Eats. Um, okay. Next thing I want to go over. I'm so hyped today because I really was like looking forward to chatting with you guys and hanging out with you guys. <laughs> okay. So, um, your emotions are opening up to expansion and where you were meant to be. So this is the next thing that you need to know about this Pisces new moon on February 20th, 2023, the day of three days before the day of and three days after. So, um, during this time, this is when your emotions are really expanding and it's getting a little uncomfortable for Tauruses, Leos, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Any of those down below. Let me know where that place is as well as Pisces. Okay. You guys are feeling it the most. Why? Because between now and I mentioned this in a post I did between now and around like end of April, this is a very powerful time where if your career or if you're just money, anything with finances, career, building yourself and what you do in this world, how you're contributing in this world, whatever your gifts are, you are being called to expand and your emotions, you need that type of instability in your emotions, some of you, because you guys are stubborn. You guys don't want change. And it's like, hello, like your inner child's probably having a tantrum and that's okay. And that's fine. Let them have that tantrum. Don't suppress that emotion. But behind that tantrum, it's because they weren't able to create space for expansion. What did you have to suppress for expansion? What did you have to sacrifice? I hate this word, but it does align with this space of Pisces because sacrifice is giving up something and thinking that you're not going to get that energy back in return. 
Ooh, that's deep. So when we sacrifice something, like mom sacrificed this to have a child. Mom, dad sacrificed this to have a child. You sacrificed this to have a child. Your partner sacrificed this to do this, right? Whatever that is, whatever came up when I said those words, that is the expansion of emotion. There's an emotion behind there that needs to be cleared and you need to really face it to know what is the new behavior that I am going to, or new um, approach that I'm gonna do to allow myself after this new moon to have space to expand and think bigger so I don't feel like I'm being suppressed. Woo! And if you guys have suppression in your family lineage, which, you know, I know I did, um, this is gonna be definitely a big, like, roar like like opening and insight it's going to be big for the third eye as well for this pisces new moon on february 20th 2023 so your third eye is getting some deep downloads and expansion which i'll go into the next thing you need to know about this pisces new moon that's happening on february 20th 2023 is that you may connect with a new guide that comes through, which is really exciting. So when we claim our bigger dream, we're also claiming more support to it. We are now dedicated. And some of you might actually connect with a guy that you've recently had that's going to be like the leader, the captain of the ship to help support you. Or some of you might actually connect with a new guide. And this is really beautiful. Some of you will also might connect with a guide that you had when you were a younger kid that made you feel safe during the time when you had to suppress who you really were because of your environment. So this card came out, change in the wind. Okay, why this guide is coming in is because of change of the wind, because they want to support you and allow you to feel safe. So they're kind of holding the fort for you in the metaphysical world, world, which reminds me of the next thing you need to know about this Pisces new moon. You have some crazy metaphysical experiences. Like I'm telling you, like, I don't know, temperature changes, you might be smelling something and it's like the energy of a spirit that's supporting you. And it might be this guide actually that is happening. Um, you will have very intensive dreams where it feels like it's real. And with that, some of you actually may wake up feeling a little tired than normal. That's normal. It's just that you are doing that clearing through your dream of any messages, any lessons that you need to know and restructure in the subconscious to allow you to commit to your bigger dream, to allow you to commit to not being small and go back to that inner child magic that your child had that was so clear that they came here and they said, hey, I'm ready to share my gift. What stopped them from sharing their gift? And I think that's going to be so huge. So metaphysical ex experiences may be that you actually see things as well. I know everyone has different gifts. I don't know if you guys have noticed in my guided meditations, I don't always say see. Sometimes I say feel, scent, because, you know, I don't think people should just look at meditation and be like, you need to see this specific guide walking towards you. Sometimes it's feeling, sensing, and I didn't always see either. So um, again, tuning into all senses, whether it's human senses and beyond, and noticing that you're having them, welcome them, don't second guess them. This is definitely a big message I'm getting. I'm gonna take the ancestral cards at this point because they're coming through, but um, don't second guess it. And this is very important because it's like, are you second guessing your power of your gifts and your ability to channel and your ability to be in your, um, be in that imagination, be in your mystic energy? mystic energy that came in so deeply so what is that mystic archetype of your higher self what does that mystic archetype of your higher self look like and how do they create space how do they step into their dreams and manifest it truly through all the trials and turbulations through all the changes just because you don't have all the answers right now doesn't mean that you're not on the right path i think a lot of us forget that and this is what this new moon is encouraging us is like how can we foster and nurture our new you know dreams our bigger dreams our dreams that we've always had and create more space and stop playing small when we were told to play small whether maybe some of you have experience with bullying or maybe other people that were um that just were judgmental to you it's like now you're claiming that power and you're not allowing that to run you it's only true if you believe it I want to just say that. Let's see what your ancestors are saying. They're kind of coming in hot today. Oh, so we have a masculine ancestor, so I don't know whatever comes up first, guys. Trust the unknown. 
This is exactly what I just said, right? Trust the unknown, trust what's here. There's the eagle. The eagle is the spirit of perspective. And I love this because the eagle soars above and allows us to have sky view. So it's like, how can you see the bigger picture of where you're going? Instead of looking at these trials and tribulations as like, oh, it's the end of the world. Like, no, it's fine. Like, just allow yourself to come back and ground. Okay, and we can find that even in the space of having a tantrum during this Pisces new moon or having anger or feeling more sensitive like and I'm going to put this also download that I'm coming and it's coming in is highly sensitive people, which if you don't know what highly sensitive people are people that are empaths usually or people who I'm just going to even just like remove that word on a pedestal because so many people use it. But highly sensitive people are people who feel things drastically. So some things that might happen is like going to the grocery store, it like feels overwhelming or being in a group, a group of people or you feel like your energy drains. If you're like that, let me know down below with a green heart emoji. But this message is for you. You need to be able to mess to to allow yourself to be emotional in life and be, you know, in the space of your manifestation. But the real test is how can you allow yourself to still be a highly sensitive person while seeing that emotion as your superpower, right? A lot of the times we see it as our weakness and that's you playing small. If you're seeing you being highly sensitive or an empath or having gifts is a weakness or, oh, well, I can't do this because of this and this, or I'm too much of that, or I'm that, that's the words that you're spelling into your body, into your being that is blocking the energy of you allowing yourself to be in that emotion. What if your gift to be highly sensitive allows you to help someone release a tear or cry, for example, right? There's a lot of people who are highly sensitive that as their inner child, that was their gift, that's part of their gift, to allow them to open up to what where they need to go. But because of maybe their brother or parent said like, you're too, you cry too much, you're too emotional, you then suppressed your emotion and suppressed your dream. So emotion equals the opening of a portal of your dream. It opens clarity and insight of your dream. So you have to tune into where these emotions have been locked in the body and this is what this new moon is doing. It's clearing that so you can have more of an intentional, vulnerable, and emotional-centered space where you can start manifesting from your emotions, right? And that is the gift of this very powerful time. The next thing you need to know about this Pisces new moon that is happening on February 20th, 2023, is that this is a great new moon to manifest and to be reminded of what you're manifesting. So why is it? Because, you know, people say like, it's a great new moon to manifest. It's a portal of manifestation. Um, is because this Pisces new moon specifically highlights creativity and imagination. So for those of you who are highly visual, those of you who are dream walkers or dream oracles, those of you who like visual things, like this is going to be very powerful for you. Now, if you aren't someone who's visual, you might be able to do this in the 3D that can activate your other senses, such as having a creative night where you draw what you want to manifest or writing a letter and then putting some drawings. I don't know if you guys used to do this, but as a kid, I used to write a letter and then I would draw on it. <laughs> I don't know if you used to do that. Um, let me know with a little drawing paper emoji down below if you did that too. But it was just fun because I had this little letter and then I had all my creative stuff. So I can script out your manifestations on your piece of paper. For those of you with the lunar planner, you could do that on the paper as well. At the end of the each month, they have some papers and you could write it down and say like, okay, this is what I want to manifest. This is what I want to bring in and then bring in the drawings and visuals and colors and playfulness to allow yourself to really bring that alchemy in, bring that energy in, which is so, so exciting. So this is a great time, once again, to manifest and be reminded. And the way that they do this is by heightening your emotions to make you to a point to surrender to your emotions and to surrender to the version of you that had to be hid most of your life because you were told that the way you were, how you were, what you did, how you thought, how you were emotional, whatever it is, was considered a weakness. And I always say nothing is weaknesses. It's always an opportunity, 
right? So how can you see things as an opportunity? One of my favorite quotes that a friend of mine said the other day, if it's not this, it's something else better. There's something else that is better for us. If it's not this, it's something else. There's something else that is for you. So if it isn't what it is right now, if you've been manifesting something, maybe this emotional explosion is what you need to allow you to be like, okay, it's not this, but let's tweak it. It's not this, but maybe it's something else and surrendering to that. So write that mantra. That's going to be really good for you guys. The last thing that you need to know about this Pisces new moon before I stop. Ooh, moon. We got a moon card. So take note of intuitive messages. I think this is perfect. So don't even, don't only take note for the intuitive messages three days before the day of and three days after, but most importantly, check out the time between this new moon and the time between the next full moon that's coming up as well, because that's, what's going to really tell you, like, are you committing to what you talked about? Are you committing to the energy of what you want to bring into this world, what you want to manifest, what you want to you know, cultivate, right? This is going to be so important for you. So you may feel more physically exhausted. Okay. This is the next thing you need to know about this Pisces new moon. That is normal because you are doing a lot of dream work. A lot of energy is being released out of you and dissolved through this time to create space, to create insight, right? So this is going to be very important for you to just allow yourself to, you know, listen to your body, but also to bring some new practices into your mornings, right? So if that means that maybe I need to really think about what are some ways that I can energize myself. So for example, lately, my meditation and energy has really gone towards working out. I find the moment I get on, on the treadmill, the moment I get the weights going, I love weightlifting, I just feel so much better. Like I'm like, oh, I feel amazing now, right? Meditation practices don't have to look the same. So my little, little, little message here for you is try to change your routine in the morning and night around this time. Okay. Get creative. Let's, let's freshen it up a little bit. Let's not just do things because, well, I'm doing all the things and it's not working. Like I'm, I'm hearing that voice, but it's like, yeah, you're doing the wrong things that are not for your body, right? You're not listening to where your body needs space. And if you're making it structured, as this Pisces new moon is very feminine, we're being called to be in our feminine energy, to be more imaginative, to be more creative, and to embrace that through emotions, then that's not doing that. That's actually resisting and suppressing the space for us to create, right? So what are some ways that you can change up your morning routine? Put that in, okay? A near night routine. And at night, what are some ways that I could create an amazing space for my night routine? Another thing that's coming up for me is underneath your pillow, if you have clear quartz, black obsidian, um, blue calcite, and I think those are it, and amethyst. Those four crystals, put them under your pillow in a little bundle, help you with your dreams, help clear your energy, especially at this time as you're just like creating space, clearing. And um, I love, love, love blue calcis, calcite angel calcite which is like a baby blue, blue color because it's great for dreams it's great to have in your bedroom actually and it's awesome for inner child as well for babies kids i always suggest people actually having this crystal in their children's nursery because it just helps them dream better and they just feel more like warm and, and like feel like they're in the womb you know it's great um the other thing too is to start like making you rethink the definition of hard work. This is the last thing I wanted to share on that point of physically exhausted. Like you are also going to be physically exhausted around this time because this Pisces new moon on February 20th, 2023, three days before the day of and three days after affects our sleep. So um, this is calling us to really tune in. If you were overburning yourself between now and the last new moon, this is showing you that your definition of hard work that you were conditioned to do, like the way you worked so hard to suppress your emotions <laughs> Literally, I'm laughing because it's like you're putting more energy to suppress your emotions. We all do, including myself, than we are to just be and allow our emotions to be and be vulnerable. And that's just physically exhausting. So you are seeing here that like how much are you overworking and just working, thinking like, OK, this is this is the way that I'm supposed to be successful. I was having a conversation with a sister. I'm going to share the same channel message I shared with her for this Pisces new moon. The way that success and wealth is going in the future is completely different. 
the people who used to be wealthy or are still wealthy of generations before, it's moving out of a whole different paradigm. And with the new earth, with this Pisces new moon, what we're learning collectively, the collective message here is like the way that we were taught to make ourselves small in the sense of structured in this one definition of success, this one definition of a family, this one definition of love, this one definition of this is changing right? And those who are willing to change with it, amazing. Those who are not, it's going to be a lot harder and a lot more physically exhausted, emotionally exhausting for you to make it through this world. And I will say for the aunts and uncles and all the papas and, and mamas out there who probably are part of your family that aren't doing this work and maybe not as open, that's okay. That's their journey and we do not judge that. But it's like, that's part of their journey. We have to respect that as well. And if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. But stop putting that pressure on them and putting that pressure on yourself that you owe them something or you owe this like responsibility of, of supporting them, healing them. Stop rescuing. Stop creating space for their wounds and being their healer, wounded healer, for the ways that they made their inner child small. So think about your mom and your dad's inner child. How much of your inner child is consoling them? That's not your responsibility. We're checking that out during this Pisces new moon. So this is really making us reflect, think big and think innovative. Think imaginative during this Pisces new moon because this is a window to allow us to rewire the way that we were programmed based on, on our environments and our emotions and allowing us to lean a little bit deeper into that resistance to get clarity and insight so we can know what we have to change moving forward for our behaviors and habits that have clearly not been working. So it's time for us to try to do this new definition of being efficient or working hard, right? And it's also asking ourselves, and I posted about this, how many of us start to question things when it's too easy, right? Like it's like, oh, it's things are too easy. This Pisces new moon is telling us like, it's okay if it's at ease and we enjoy what we do. Change work to lifestyle. If we change it that way, the energy is so much different. Do you like the lifestyle that you live? Do you like the, the work that you do? Do you like the people that you're with? If you do, then that's great. We love that. That's, that's Gucci. But if you don't, then that's a whole other thing as well. And where the energy is going to. So everything is an energetic exchange. I was just talking about this and I'm going to pull out a card here. Everything is an energetic exchange, okay? This card came out, the warrior card. Be fearless, be strong, right? So be fearless, be strong during this time of the Pisces new moon because again, it is clearing stuff physically. Some of us might even feel like we get physical ailments. That's normal. Just elderberry will be your best friend. Garlic will be your best friend. Cook with that. Have an elderberry tincture is really good. Um, and then also just really focusing on your sleep, as well. So those crystals are going to really support you. Let's see if there's any plants that I would suggest working with during this Pisces new moon. Now we're talking about creativity. We're talking about imagination. And when I tune into the energy of creativity and imagination, it brings me back to one of the, the biggest things, which is dream, right? Dream state. Um, and one of my favorite things that I love, love, love to connect with is tuning in with the energy of two things, the moon, which I know we're going here, we're connecting with the moon. But the second thing that I really want you to focus on as far as clearing energy and the masculine of the father's sky is pine. Okay. Pine is amazing for clearing energy, but also to clear any lack of self-confidence that we have energetically in our body. So if you have a pine um, salve, if you have like pine that you could have in an incense, it's going to be really, really, really supportive for you. Another thing is chamomile, amazing for sleep, but calming the nerves as you are now rewiring what you have been taught most of your life, you might feel like your nervous system needs a little bit of nurturing. So this is where this is going to be great. Um, the last thing which I probably have recommended before, but I'm going to recommend it again right now is valerian. Valerian's amazing as a tea and you can also have as a roll on. I prefer roll on. So just find whatever best way your body absorbs it. Um, and this can be used before sleep to really allow you to just rest and relax. Um, remembering that you have more melatonin around this time that's going to be activated through the brain and the body during the Pisces new moon. Remember, 
the moon affects over 75% water and our body is about that. So um, this is a really great time also to bring a lot of like more awakening scents. So for example, if you have a diffuser or incense, I would highly suggest anything citrus is gonna really open up and especially for attention and procrastination of stepping into that big dream, stepping into expressing yourself, that is going to be super helpful for you. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Let's get a little affirmation if it's meant to fall out. Let me know in the comments down below what resonated with you and also, Get yourself a lunar planner, guys, down below, $22. Like, it's really accessible. I made it so then anyone can have it. Um, and it's gonna help you with all these moon videos, but also just help you go back and be like, oh yeah, this moon, I worked on this. Now it's the full moon in Pisces. I can see where I was when I set those intentions in the new moon, you know what I mean? So it really supports you with that. Um, and also, if you are feeling like you want more clarity after this personal clarity ceremony, I suggest you booking um, limited time offer that I'm gonna have is my ceremonial readings, which is happening all this month only for February. So um, 50 minutes or 30 minute in depth, whatever feels good for you, and you can book that down below. So adversity, I accept the challenges are best way to learn. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. What part of you is not accepting the challenge of you being able to hold space for your inner child that doesn't feel safe in its ability to create space, its ability to be creative, its ability to explore its emotions, right? And how did that suppression affect you, right? I have loneliness coming up here. I know that I am never lonely. So this Pisces new moon is teaching us that we need to put down that feeling, that belief that we think we're going to be alone if we choose our dream. And, you know, the biggest thing I always tell people is we don't have to agree with our family. We don't have to owe them anything. And I always say that one of the biggest things is like taking off this idea. And this is for all those spiritual, the spiritual ego process here that we are spiritual and the person is not and what they're doing is wrong. We need to take that off and shift it, right? So one of the biggest things is if they're not accepting you, they don't accept this part of you and that's okay, but do you accept it? Do you expect accept your big dreams? Do you accept your inner child? That is the most important. And that is how you reparent the inner child through shadow work and healing. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share with your friends and be part of our family because this is an amazing community. And if you're feeling called to have a community experience, come to my medicine retreats. I'd love to meet you guys in person, but also for you to heal and to hold, to hold space um, and to witness you in your power, to witness you dream bigger and expand. And these are very transformational retreats. So all that information is down below. Readings are down below and stay tuned because there's more to come. So add yourself to the email list. Happy Pisces new moon loves, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.